Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. What we're going to do today is we're going to do, first of all, we're going to do the next Tartara I don't know how you say that. Tartara Tales or whatever it is, um, because those are the ones that, you know, takes daily resets. So we're going to do this first. And then we're going to do some story quests. I think I said I would do Xiao and then... Well, it looks like I have two keys anyway. So I said I would do Xiao and then the Raiden Shogun. Or Raiden Shogun 1 anyway, because the Raiden Shogun 2 is somewhere over here. Which I don't... Maybe you only need this one? I don't know, but the point is, we can't do that one anyway. I don't have enough story keys. So we're going to do those two quests. And then, I don't know, probably some world quests. Because there are still a couple of them to do. And like, I think I unlocked one in Mondstadt after the Venti quest. It looked like it'd be very quick. And I also think that there's one... Oh, and the Gourmet Supremos. There's the next one as well. <laughs> so, you know, we gotta catch up with my favourite... Uh, what are they called? I think they're a quarter... No, they're a trio. My favourite trio, the Gourmet Supremos. So that's sort of vaguely <laughs> what the plan is for today. Uh... Okay, anyway, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start this quest. I probably should have pressed navigate when I was in the quest menu, but you know what? That's fine. Okay, where where is the dude? I always forget where he is. He's somewhere around this corner. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hello. Ah, such perfect timing. Traveler, the data has almost all been gathered and it's now time to retrieve our beacons. How do you know? These beacons always come with very detailed instruction manuals. These describe various different circumstances and the amount of time required for data gathering each circumstance. As for unknown forms of energy, like Tataragami, I will simply consider them to require the longest duration. Either way, the task of retrieving those beacons falls to you. Okay. Do I remember where I put the beacons? No. Hopefully. They're going to be somewhere easily accessible. Because I feel like when I was trying to put them somewhere, I definitely had to fight or avoid. I think I ran away from at least one mirror mage. And... Oh, oh no, it's... No, there she is. Which we are going to ignore. We're just going to ignore her. And we're going to go this way. Because I think there's one up here. And I think the third one, I remember, like, jumping across to get. Also, I am not vibing the stupid... I think it's Bale Thunder? I don't know. The thing that, like, electrifies you. Very unpleasant. No, do not, do not recommend. Anyway. I'm trying to find the thing, but I don't remember where it is. So. I'm just... I'm just gonna... Is it up here? But that's a dead end. Sure. Uh-oh. That, that's fine. Um... Yeah, that that's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna do that. We're gonna go over here, and then we're gonna grab this, and then can we go through this barrier? Oh yes, we can. Okay, good. Uh, is that relevant? Oh, there's an Oculus. I will take the Oculus. But where's the where's the little beacon? And why can't I climb? Oh, now I can. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, get down. Okay, okay, okay. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Ooh, it's like some crystal flies. I wonder if they're like attracted to the all this energy. Anyway, and the third one is vaguely this way. Oh, I remember. It's in this this pit thing. Okay. Okay. Um. Where is the beacon? Beacon? Hmm. It would help if I remembered things. I am very forgetful. Uh, oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, let's grab this. And then let's teleport out of there because uh, Ayaka took a lot of damage when I wasn't paying attention and that is not a good thing. So I'm going to teleport out of there. Okay, let me see what you guys have said. Um... Oh, Lizzie's playing Animal Crossing. I think I've never played Animal Crossing, but I think it, it looks fun. But I also am pretty sure that there's like aspects to it that are very sort of like I don't know. I feel like I've heard about one of the villagers who keeps trying to like scam you, <laughs> but I've never actually played. So, I, but I think it sounds fun. So have fun with that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else have you said? Oh. 
Yeah, I did. I upped the, um, <laughs> I did up the price of the word ban because, yeah, it needed to be done. But I, I only timesed it by 1.5 instead of doubling it, so it could have been worse. <laughs> um, okay, hydrate. I have hydrated. Um, okay, okay. <laughs> have I played Hades? You know what? I think I have. But that's like a mobile game, right? Like a farming game. I feel like I have, but I also feel like it was like Heyday 2. I don't think it was Heyday 1, and only briefly, and then I got bored. Um, you feel like if I played Animal Crossing, I'd become obsessed? Yeah, I probably would. I am... Yeah, <laughs> I probably would. Uh, that, would, that would be a bad idea. And that would also require me to have a device that can play Animal Crossing, which I currently do not. So, probably a good thing, all things considered. <laughs> okay. Okay, without animals, the game begs me to buy three chickens every time you go back. How are you Oh, yeah, I guess you could farm crops. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay, uh, how did it go? Do you have all our beacons? Got them all right here. Bravo, now just give me a moment while I modify this device. I must say, the Fatui have been acting more and more strangely recently. They seem to be gathering around the core of the furnace. Hopefully they aren't hatching some other dastardly plot, or should I say, trying to do something that we won't be able to mitigate. Okay. That's, that's done. Which means... Well, first of all, healing break. Secondly, I think it's Xiao quest time, so... This is me trying to remember which of the buttons are. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, found the button. Story quest. Where is he? Uh, yes, I said we start with Xiao because I think someone said that it had like time lock things. In which, like, uh, things that require daily reset. In which case, I figured we just start it and then, uh, yeah. We do. <laughs> and depending on how long it takes, we can do the boss fighting in the middle, maybe? Wait, why did I cancel it? Okay. <laughs> Return to the screen. Okay. Ooh. Go to, go to Wangshu Inn. Okay. Okay. Exciting. Exciting. I am pretty sure- okay, I, I don't actually know exactly what happens in the quest. All I know is that Xiao has a tragic backstory. So I am- yeah. <laughs> I think this might be a sad one. But so far all of them have been sad ones pretty much. Like, I don't think there's been one good and happy- oh no, I think the Klee one was quite happy, but I think everything else has had an element of sad. Like, the Venti one is sad, the Zhongli ones... Yeah, they both have an element of sad. I think even the Jean one's kind of sad, because Jean is like, oh, well, it's not sad, that one's just like... You feel the urge to wrap Jean up in a blanket and tell her to go to sleep. But all of the... a lot of these seem to have tragic backstories. And then, since it's the story quest, they like to tell you all about the tragic backstories. Okay, let's... Okay. <laughs> hey Kiko, is it just Paimon or is there something weird about those hiller shells over there? Yes. They are glowing black, which is usually not a good sign. Paimon thinks so too. We've seen plenty of hiller shells before and they're always the bad guys, but this is different. Uh oh, this is right by the Wangshu Inn too. The guests are in great danger. Now that we've seen it, if we don't do anything about it, Paimon will feel really guilty. Let's go take care of them. Let's go take care of them, Keiko. Okay, defeat the Hiltshells with the evil aura. We found that it's quite an evil aura. Oh, well that was easy. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Hiltshells. And yeah, problem solved. Now what? Uh, these super evil Hiltshells are more difficult to defeat than the usual kind too. Hey, it seems like people are gathering over there, wonder what they're doing. So... Well, see that guy in the mask? He scared off all the Hillichels. It looked like he was using some sort of Adeptus art. Oh, you mean like Xiao? Now that you mention it, this guy's mask is kind of similar to the one that he wears. But the magic he was using seemed even more adeptus than Xiao's. Shall we go say hi? Oh, I love it. He brought a fan. <laughs> he brought a fan group. Hello. Um, hello. Allow us to introduce ourselves. This 
Please, if you're here to thank me, there's a new cleansing the world of evil is the duty of the Adepti. Think nothing of it, one certainly doesn't. Okay. Wait, who are you? One had assumed you were followers, but on closer inspection, it seems that we have not met. I see this guy as you... I don't think he's an Adeptus. He looks suspicious. But also, because I feel like the Adepti usually address someone more flamboyantly. But then Madam Ping is an Adeptus, and she just looks like a regular old lady. But also, I, I feel like his use of one is inconsistent. Because he said one, but then he's also said me and we, and I don't... I don't remember if Cloud Retainer does that, or if she just says, like, instead of saying uh, that we have not, mm, that we have not met, it'd be something like, one has not met you, or something. Hmm. Okay, well, we're travellers passing by. My name's Paimon, and this is my sidekick, Keiko. Oh, we didn't protest that, I guess. I guess Paimon's in charge then. One sees, one too shall introduce oneself, for it is good manners to comply. Ahem, the one before you is the Adeptus Master of Stars, though one is better known to one's followers as Star Snatcher. One descended from one's mountain abode to cleanse the world of evil, whereupon fates or fit that our paths should cross. Now tell me that which you wish for. Our wishes? Paimon thought that the Adepti and Liyue were just really good in battle. You mean you can grant people's wishes too? Ah, there are different levels of Adepti. Are not the stars loftier than the mountains, clouds, and moon? Yes, it is unbecoming of an Adepti to boast of one's powers. One would have you first speak to one's followers, and only then make your verdict. This is super suspicious. <laughs> like, super suspicious. Okay. Uh, have you seen the Master of Stars in action? His power truly hails from the Divine. I believe that now there is finally some hope for my ailing father. Tell me about the Master of Stars. Watching him use his magic is all the proof you need. A true adeptus, no doubt about it. Not long ago, I sought some medicine from him on behalf of my ailing father. The difference from bo with Boo Boo Pharmacy's prescriptions was like night and day, I tell you. Once it was boiled and ready, it gave off this really ethereal mist. It seemed pretty adeptal to me. Hmm, could have also been that there was mist flower in it, though. Adeptal medicine is surely the most potent. My father will recover soon, I just know it. Sure, you have to make some sacrifices if you seek help from an adeptus like the Master of Stars. I had to give a few antiques as offerings. My father's life is worth much more than a few old relics, right? Oh. He gave him money. I have- I see no reason for the Adepti to need money. Like, Zhongli lives with zero Mora. I think they've been scammed. Also, his name is just Male Believer, so what's this guy? Oh, Mercantile Believer. I like it. They've got the three genders. Male, Female, Merchant. Why? I haven't actually checked. I think she's called Female Believer. Okay, uh, the Middle East don't really need to do shifts when the Master of Stars is around, do they? What do you know about the Master of Stars? I'm a merchant, and I had an especially valuable batch of goods that need transporting recently. So I asked the Master of Stars if he would make the journey with me, as presumptuous as that was. Reason being, monsters run a mile as soon as he so much as holds up his talisman. We didn't have the slightest bit of trouble the whole journey. It didn't come cheap, of course, but then soliciting the services of an Adeptus is a monumental affair. Just look at the right of dissension. So I can accept it, but I doubt that most from outside of Liyue would be willing to. So she is female, so it really is. <laughs> We've got male believer. Mer mer mercantile Believer, Male Believer, Mercantile Believer, and Female Believer. I love it. I guess when in Liyue, you just gotta- you gotta include the merchants. Uh, finally, a full life of hope and purpose. What are your thoughts on the Master of Stars? Oh, are you believers too? After my fiancé upped and left, I cried every day. But then I turned to the Master of Stars for help. At his suggestion, I started burning paintings of my fiancé and casting the ashes into the ocean at sunrise. I can't explain it, but it really worked. I know in my heart that he will return. This is not some sort of positive thinking trick, I am certain of it. I'm so overjoyed that I gave up a portion of my wedding budget to the Master of Stars as an offering. After all, if not for him, I wouldn't be getting my fiancé back, in which case I wouldn't need it anyway. Oh. See, at first I thought, burning the photos, scattering the ashes at sunset seemed like... Eh, a questionable, but like, a decent sort of like... Revenge on your ex coping mechanism. And then she said she was hoping for him to come back. And now I'm unsure of where this is going. <laughs> okay. Hello. What do you think? One's ad adherents may exaggerate a little, but they speak from the heart. From their imaginations, I'd say. Ah, surely you jest. There was once a senior adeptus, Xie Wu Liang, known to the people as Liang Zhi. He said this. 
All things are connected. That which mortals call imagination is merely the bridge betwixt the spiritual and the material. In other words, their wishes are already on the path of transitioning into reality. Does this make things clearer? Ah, nope, it makes them way more complicated. But basically, what you're saying is that their wishes can come true, right? Indeed, you are perceptive, my diminutive friend. Okay, um, so we also have one other question. Oh, you need but ask. Why do you wear a mask? One wanders among mortals doing good and cleansing evil. One reveals not one's visage to avoid further disturbance to this realm than is necessary. Ah, got it. Now then, what are your wishes? I mean, I kind of want to know what would happen. Like, this is obviously like the smart choice, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for power and see what he does. <laughs> uh, okay, I want the power to rival the gods. Indeed, a great many obstacles may be overcome given commensurate power, but one cannot but wonder what grudge have you against the gods. So be it, the wish is not beyond one's power to grant. But first, one must seek some proof of your fey. What's that supposed to mean? The way of the Adepti cannot be grasped from words alone. One must seek the profound truths that lie beyond them. Should you fail to perceive one's hidden meaning, then regrettably one may lend you no aid. What do you do? Paimon doesn't understand him at all. He wants us to sweeten the deal. Oh, that's right. Some of those believers mentioned they had to pay a pretty sum for the Adeptus' help, didn't they? Well, Paimon's not forking over any more, and we don't have anything valuable enough on us. You don't even have a vision. I don't think people sell those. Uh, why don't we make a tasty snack? No one can resist the temptation of good food, can they? I mean, no. <laughs> that is true, we do love a good snack. Uh, yep, a tasty snack is sure to work. Why don't we head over to a one book bookhouse and see if they've got any new recipes in? Could I get a recipe out of this? I like recipes. <laughs> I would accept a recipe. This would be like the highlight of the quest. Okay, let me see if they have anything else to say. I still have some valuables at home. Star Snatcher, I can bring them tomorrow to see if they're to your liking. Why are you bringing him more stuff? Um, please, Star Snatcher, watch over me. And then, what have you got to say? I'm only at ease with the Master of Stars. And what do you have to say? Do not fret, as long as you evidence your faith, your wishes will be granted. Hmm. 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 I see. I see. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, that is true. Madam Ping is a legend. We love Madam Ping. Madam Ping is my favorite Adeptus because she's just very iconic. Also, Yao Yao's mentor. That's bonus points in my book. <laughs> That's like two good things. Uh, okay. Uh, ooh. Fair enough. Um, master of Scams? Yes. He is. A little bit. He feels like a Master of Scams and I am... Well, I'm honestly kind of impressed, but like sad for all those people. It reminds me of, I swear there's somebody in the mountains who's, who we've talked to you before in one of these. Um, there's a guy and he's talking about how, oh, why is he here? Um, there was a guy who was, yeah, he was like a, a martial artist and there was a guy next to him like, I just need to pay master like this much money and I'm sure he'll teach me the secret technique soon. And we were pretty sure he got scammed. And this is exactly the same energy. <laughs> Uh, so you'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Yes, here and keep the change. Oh, aren't you generous? Thank you for your patronage. Hey, isn't that, um, Star Snapper? What a coincidence running into him again. Coin- <laughs> Coincidence or Adepti incidents? Did you hear the name of the book he just bought? Was it Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Oh, well, anyway, it was definitely a book about the Adepti. Why would an Adept just want to buy a book about himself? Perhaps he's a narcissist? Could be. Hmm, but now that Paimon thinks about it, there's something that's just not right about this guy. Uh, yeah, why would he want people to pay him money? Oh, that's a good point. None of the other Adepti we've met seem like they needed anything from anyone. Hmm. Paimon thinks we should check out that book. Maybe we'll find out something about this guy that we can use. Okay, hello. Hey there, we'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti. Do you have one in stock? Ah, huh, since when did that old chestnut become a bestseller? You're a rare breed of youngster if this is what you'd like to read, but you should be able to find a copy somewhere on the desk over there. Ooh. I love how our first choice was to ask the shopkeeper. If this was me, I would have checked the entire store twice. 
myself before I asked the shopkeeper where they put the book. Like, I would have checked for it, not even knowing if it was there, because why would I interact with people unnecessarily? Anyway, hello. Yaksha's the Guardian Adepti. We have, we have picked it up. Okay. Uh, this is it. This is the one. Let's see what it's about, shall we? In ancient times, Liyue was a land of misery, where the shadow of evil loomed large. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal forms. When demons stirred, miasmas, monsters, and mutations infested the land. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the demons. They swore an oath, restore order through slaughter, purge evil through battle. To this, we dedicate our lives. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic debt weighed upon them, phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear, turned on each other, or succumbed to the darkness. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three, while the fourth vanished without a trace. In the millennia since, one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving Yaksha in the mortal realm. And only on moonlit nights, in the glow from Guyon, and in the sound of the Dihua flute, is his memory preserved. This book is about the Yakshas, a group of adepti who defended Lia. Hmm, seems like a pretty niche topic. Was there anything that stood out to you? Um... About karma. The book says that the Yakshas, after fighting against the wrath of the gods for thousands of years, became bound by karma. Poisoned by the hateful thoughts of the gods, the Yakshas would often descend into indescribable fits of terror, rage, or agony. Ugh, it's so tragic. After everything they went through in all their years of protecting Lia, they got no reward and had to deal with so much suffering and dead. Um, about demons. The book says that the wrathful spirits of the gods defeated during the Archon War can sometimes cause plagues, monsters, or mutations. All of which sound pretty horrendous. Hey, wait a second, Paimon wonders if. You think those super evil killer Charles we saw earlier were the mutations that the book's talking about? Ooh, I hadn't considered that one. About the soul of surviving Yaksha. So there used to be five main Yakshas, but supposedly only one of them is still alive today. Do you think it could have anything to do with that Snar Snatcher guy? No, surely not. He doesn't exactly give off the impression that he's been suffering for thousands of years. Uh, nothing else I can think of. Yep, Paimon thinks we've already summed up all the key points. So back to the matter at hand. The things we need answers on are 1. Where did the super evil looking hillchars come from? And 2. What does Star Snatcher have to do with the Yakshas, right? Now to head back to where this all started and commence our investigation. Let's part the fog of mystery that hangs over Jia Yun cast and let the truth shine through in its full glory. You are way too into this. To be honest, Paimon actually hopes he's a real Adeptus. Ah, his exorcism techniques seem real enough, at least. Hmm, but if we get our hopes up, there's further for them to come down, so it makes sense to investigate thoroughly first, just to be sure. Alright, let's head back to Wanshu Inn. Okay, Wanshu Inn. Uh, it might be quicker to run from Gwaii Plains, actually, so that's what we're gonna run for. Pyro Regigiga. Huh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go this way. Ooh, hello! Ghost Fox. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. <laughs> good to good to see you. Today we are doing well, I've started the Xiao story quest. That is what we're doing right now. We are uh, we're pretty sure Star well, I'm pretty sure Star Snatcher is what do we call him? Uh, I feel like there was a term someone used, something like the god of scams or something. <laughs> Master of scams, I think. Um, pretty sure. But yeah. But we have yet to find out the entire story, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, flee at my command, foul demons. Flee! Oh, they're not fleeing. Uh, wh why won't you flee? Veronai, Veronai, Veroniach! Uh oh, looks like Star Snatcher's in trouble. And there are innocent bystanders here too. We have to step in. Okay. 
Let, let's get rid of them. It should be fairly easy. Uh, and then I like how <laughs> they ran straight in the middle there. And I kind of set everybody on fire. I hope they don't mind. <laughs> Just a little bit on fire. Um, I don't get it. Why didn't the Sigil of Permission do anything? Has the evil aura of these Hillichels grown in intensity? Sigil of Permission? Huh. Now why does that sound familiar? Oh, that's why... Okay. <laughs> the Jiayun... Get out of Jiayun free card. Right, it's a keepsake of the Adepti, so it must still contain traces of their power. <gasps> no wonder he was able to scare those monsters away earlier. Uh, what are you two babbling on about? One is merely underslept, meaning that one's adeptal power is not in full flow. But one, but given another opportunity, well, as it happens, there goes another bunch of evil hill shells over there. Should we leave them to you then? Uh, what, I, what, one suddenly feels ill at ease. Surely one has overexpended one's adeptal powers. Otherwise, one would surely purge these infernal beings at once. Ah, so you were just bragging after all. You are right to be suspicious. Come on, traveller, looks like it's up to us. Use your elemental sight and hunt them down. Okay, uh... What if you... <laughs> okay, so you've got Master of Scams, Eater of Hams, Enjoyer of Clams. I see, interesting. <laughs> I am liking the wordplay. Ooh. Oh, it's not the Master of Stars failed exorcism. Perhaps he isn't feeling well today. I was just trying to grab some meat. But I will also talk to these people to see what they think about the exposure. Um, I can't believe the Master of Stars wasn't powerful enough to defeat those Hillichels. And what she got to say? What happened there? Good thing we had you around, huh? Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, one is nearly feeling unwell. One hopes you shall not spread these tidings wantonly. I see. Oh, uh, what else have you said? Oh, you translated the healer shells. Oh, they were saying, stop talking. You know what? Honestly, a fair reaction to you just follow going here and this guy starts yelling at you to be gone then stop talking is kind of a you know what it could have been well like that's pretty pretty average oh oh there's a chest can i my yeah no i thought that might happen <laughs> okay let me just that's also not what i meant to no i meant to click xiangling okay we're gonna burn that okay no we're not oh no no we are that's good <laughs> okay i want to grab that and then oh i forgot it told me to use elemental sight didn't it okay Oh, they're that way. Okay. Oh, I think that's Xiao. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, I see. Oh, you're having bad. Okay. Uh, go swap. You're having bad luck with artifacts. A child got to collect the bad artifacts to get better ones for Xiao. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. You got to make the best of a bad situation. Um. Yeah, I, I don't have either of those, <laughs> but that's fine. Oh, the drawing found is it. Hello, welcome, welcome. I see starting off with a hydrate immediately. Typical. <laughs> oh my god, it is. It's a hydrate. I love it. I love it. But I also fear for what that means for future <laughs> future streams. And every time you show up, you're going to be like hydrate as a greeting. Um. <laughs> oh, another hydrate. Okay. You know what? That's fair. I, we gotta stay hydrated. That is that is true. <laughs> okay, um, it's you. I remember you. I was purging some living beings that had been tainted by the demonic. It would appear that I have caused you some trouble. Huh? He isn't usually this polite. What's going on? You were exercising demons. How is that causing trouble? That is because the changes that occurred in these monsters stem from me, or more precisely, from the karma I have accumulated. Mutations karma, does that mean? Uh... We read about that in the book. Yeah, Paimon remembers that Xiao is called the Vigilant Yaksha, isn't he? So that means, oh, poor, poor Xiao. Oh, we reread about your past in a book. I see, you must mean that piece of literature. That feels like a mistype. Literary fan fiction from a few hundred years ago. Uh, all things are impermanent and to consider and to exist is to suffer. We Yakshas have no need for we try this again because I read that wrong the first time. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All things are impermanent and to exist is to suffer. We actors have no need of sympathy or tears. My comrades who have passed on would see your tears as a stain upon their legacy. Oh, uh, Paimon, sorry. It matters not. In any case, I'm on my way to purge a ca cavern of demonic influence, so we shall part ways here. 
Wait, take us with you will be a big help. Paimon promises. No need, I'm used to fighting alone, and in any case, these mutations originated from me to begin with. Well then, consider it Paimon's penance for being accidentally rude just now, please. Come on then. Okay, are we just... ignoring... Oh, did he just run off? I didn't see him run. But are we just ignoring... Like, were we just leaving those other people? Are we just leaving Star Snatcher to, um... To his own... <laughs> to his own devices? Finish your preparations and we shall enter. We shall not leave those monsters to be here for too long. I also definitely read that incorrectly, but... Eh. Okay. No, that's fine. We, we can do this. Um... Ah... Five hydrates. This this is fine. I am prepared. Okay. Oh, ADRX is here. Hello, welcome. That was a dramatic entrance. <laughs> uh okay, okay. Huh. That's weird. I assume the rest of you can hear me and that it's an ARX problem and not a stream problem because no one else has said anything. Um, <laughs> so, oh yeah, no, you fixed it. Um, ugh, classic class. Uh, what's his devices would you leave him to? What? I'm so confused, but okay, that's, that's fine. Anyway, anyway, time to, time to see what's going on in this cavern. Oh, I'm pretty sure we get a test out Xiao. That's gonna be fun. Ayaka is B level. Huh? Okay, uh, oh, this place gives Paimon goosebumps. I will use the ritual known as the Bane of All Evil to relieve this place of its karma. You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. Oh, okay. Quest specific effect. As a result of the build up of divine calm in the area, Xiao will have Bane of All Evil permanently activated. And he will constantly lose HP. Right. Good thing Yao Yao's here. Additionally, the effects of that divine karma will allow Xiao to regenerate HP when he deals damage to opponents. Never mind. Never mind. Maybe we do. I guess I have to just keep punching things. If I stop punching things, I'll die. This is like. Is that a shark thing? Or I don't know if it's true, but I'm pretty sure it's like a. At least common belief. There's something that's like a shark stops swimming and they die. This is the vibes of if Xiao starts punching things, Xiao's gonna perish. So we gotta we gotta keep fighting things. Like a lot. Oh, oh, it's only Xiao. We we only have Xiao. Okay. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> I gotta be quick, apparently. Um okay. Let's just just click a bunch. What is his Oh, it's kinda like a it would help if I knew what this button did. I just clicked things. And maybe that was not the vibes? Okay. Oh, so it looks like it uh, refill refills and then there's like three three, like, it charges up to a max of three times. And then if you click it, it does like a little, little dash thing. I, think. I don't really know. It appears to see what's going on. And I think I'm permanently in like Q mode. So this is what happens when he's, you know, in Q. <laughs> when Q has been pressed. Which means I don't actually know what Xiao is normally like because everything is like funky. But he's doing a lot of damage, which is pretty useful, all things considered. Because we only have like so much. Yeah. Oh, okay. Looks like I've got 23 of them. That's one more over here. Oh, okay. Um, last five. Okay. And this guy over here. I should have probably grabbed that last guy. I didn't. Oh no, I did. I thought I left one guy with like a tiny slither of health, but I'm guessing I didn't because, well, he's gone now. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's still taking damage. This, this is, this is fine. Um. Okay. Paimon's having opinions. I, I, I've probably missed something, but Paimon has realized that um. Oh my gosh, he jumps really high. Wait. Wait, wait. Oh, oh! I can jump! Whoa! <laughs> anyway, Paimon's having realizations that the guy is definitely a fraud because Xiao is only wearing his mask. He only wears his mask sometimes. His other guy is wearing his mask like all of the time, which is. I mean, Paimon, really? Like, now is the only time you figured out he's a fraud? 
Like, I thought we knew about this. <laughs> Did pa was Paimon not part of the revelations earlier? I thought we'd already decided that the guy was definitely a fraud. But maybe, maybe Paimon hadn't. She still had faith, but misplaced faith, but, oh. Oh. Ooh. I didn't, didn't I? Oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this. Oh, no, it's just the crown. Okay. This is not good, though, because me failing at jumping it means my health is decreasing faster without things to punch to regenerate it. So this is not, this is not good. Am I going to... Yeah, no, it's it's less than half now, so I hope something comes up. Oh, there you go. Okay, good. There are things to fight here, which is very good because <laughs> my health is getting real low. So we're just gonna keep, it's gonna keep clicking buttons. Yeah, it went down to like red for a second there. That's not good. But that, that, that's fine. Right. It's gonna keep clicking, <laughs> like a lot. Okay. Um. Okay, it's a couple of them up here. Let's just, just let me just hit them. Yes, this is fine. He does a lot of damage, so that that's good. Um. Yeah, okay. The double jump thing, like the really high jumping, is confusing me greatly. I keep not expecting it. And then I accidentally jump, and then like... I think it's so you can do plunging attack. Oh! <gasps> wait! Wait, wait, what was that? Oh, they were like spi- Okay, this is definitely what you're supposed to be doing. I see! <laughs> well, this is exciting. Well, now I, I wish I knew this earlier. That makes so much sense. This makes so much more sense. Okay. You can just... Aha. Well, now I know the trick. Oh. Okay, well, I someone did the trick. First, we gotta get rid of this guy, because I'm pretty sure this is the guy that does the healing, and we don't we don't want to do any healing. Um, I don't even intend to, like, hit the Abyss page. It looks like I already did a lot of damage. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, it is good that we came here. An unusual number of living things has fallen under infernal influence. Had we not arrived in good time, the consequences would have been unthinkable. Now this star snatcher you speak of, what is the situation? Oh, Paimon will tell you. Oh, I guess this is also what Paimon was on about when I wasn't reading it. Hmm. An adeptus who grants wishes, to think that people could be so easily deceived by such blatant lies. As an adeptus, do you have the power to grant wishes, Xiao? The leader of yesteryear would never ask the adepti for boons unearned. Millennia ago, the ancestral people of Liyue asked for nothing more than the strength to defend the land they called their home. Eh, to be honest, an adepti who grants people's wishes is probably more appealing to people nowadays. However, for people, people nowadays maybe, they are not my concern. I concern myself only with following Rex Lapis's original decree. Whoops, Paimon spoke without thinking again. Uh, one more thing, that fake adeptus had the sigil of permission. It's what he uses to exercise demons. Which really? Hmm, fool. Exercising demons without exterminating them. It is no wonder they have been congregating here. If this continues, things may spiral out of even my control. We must confiscate his sigil of permission. Confiscate? Is that all? Great minds think alike. Paimon agrees. We've got to show that trickster what you get for trying to fool us. And just so happens that we've got a real Adeptus with us too. If Xiao were to teach Star Snatcher a lesson, you can bet he'll never dare to pose an Adeptus ever again. No, I only say demons. I do not kill mortals. Who said anything about killing him? That's, that's not what I was thinking of, Xiao. Mildly maiming, maybe, but not killing. Otherwise, he's not going to learn if he's dead. Now, uh, it would certainly benefit Liu if we could convince him to cease his wicked ways. I possess an art called Dream Trawler. It is normally used to separate the soul from the body. That one might cultivate oneself in a waking dream. And it can also be used to call forth the spirits of others. Whoa, now that's real Adepti art for you. Um... Can those for gifting dreams and visions? A ritual must be performed for this art to be used. Assist me in gathering a few items, a sensor, seven lamps, and something to reduce the temperature. Reduce the temperature? Ooh, so Miss Flowers will probably do, right? But as for the sensor and the seven lamps, Paimon's not- Oh, probably not the kinds of things we're just going to stumble across in the wild. You know the two Yoksha statues that stand guard beside a merchant road on the southern face of Mount Tianhong? The ancestors of the people of Liyue built shrines there to honor the Yakshas. You should still be able to find the ceremonial items there. Once you've found them, meet me at the Yaksha statues after nightfall, and I will teach you how to use its art. Okay. Okay. <gasps> yes, there is a chest. Okay, let me grab the chest. What happens if you just leave without grabbing the chest? Like, does it do like a, um, you forgot something? Or do you just, just lose out? I think you probably just lose out. That would suck. Anyway, I think I've missed a bunch of stuff. What are you guys on about?
Um. Oh, the bee was covering up her level. You know what? Makes sense. <laughs> uh. Said you were going to leave the star center to his own devices. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> wait, wait, what is that in a ref? Okay, this is. I know this is related to something else. When you said. <laughs> oh, who else's devices would you leave him to? I guess. We you know, left him to the Healer Shell's devices. I mean, we kind of did because we left him there with his broken sigil of permission. So hopefully, nothing attacked him while we were gone. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't here, and that was very sad. Um. Okay. Oh, cool. Adiarx. That was. <laughs> I'm reading Adiarx's message. Okay. Cool. Cool. Interesting. Um. Okay. I, these are five and told me about the pl see how plunge attacks but i didn't read it because that was the situation where i really can't read the chat because xiao was just dying and it was not a great time <laughs> okay okay you guys are trained i'm just ignoring that <laughs> okay 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 You know what? <laughs> Don't leave if you know what's chest for you. I love it. Anyway, where am I supposed to be going? Something about Mount Tianhong. Okay, okay. I don't remember there being any shrines here, but also I probably haven't run around here very often because I think there's parts of Leo that I just haven't looked at. As in, I feel like I've looked at most of it, but I sort of... I've gone everywhere with a purpose. As in, I always ran around because I needed to get from A to B. And if going from A to B required crossing somewhere, then I would have pa passed by. But if it didn't, then I might not have gone there specifically, which means that there are like areas I have, I've seen, but I haven't explored. <laughs> and I should really get around to doing that. Okay, uh, the spirit soars the mountains high while the body rests as the world goes by. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but we'd like to borrow a sensor and some lamps. Uh, well, I'll be, isn't that something? A pair walking to a shrine, neither to seek nor worship gods or adepti, but to pilfer the tools of worship for their own ends. Aha! We know it's rude to ask that we just need them for a short while, honest. The dream to all a ritual, I trust. Uh, what? how do you know that? I've been in the shrine for far longer than you would expect. Perhaps as a reward for my faithfulness, I've been endowed with some understanding of the adepti art. Oh, Paimon's never heard of that happening before. Ah, uh, it matters not. Take what you need. It is a fortuitous thing that these items may be of service to you. It serves a little purpose here in any case. Uh, something on your mind? Huh, nothing you need to concern yourself with. Please take what you wish. Okay, okay. This guy's funky. But like, it definitely feels there's something I should concern myself with because no one ever says that and doesn't mean it. Also, I don't think, wait, but there's a, there's a waypoint here, which means I've clearly been here. But you can see those lantern things aren't lit, which means I haven't been here, but like, I'm so confused. Maybe there are bits I just haven't. I don't know, I'm just confused. Anyway, uh, this sensor should be fine, right? At least it isn't as run down as this shrine. Okay, the next we need to grab the seven star lamps, right? The sooner we start, the sooner we'll be done. I love that. They just they just teleported us there so we wouldn't have to do it ourselves. Which honestly I am grateful for because I would not have wanted to do that. I am lazy. And being instantly teleported there and back, aka nothing happening, was a lot easier for me. Oh, and I see these lamps are part of the quest, which might explain why I thought I hadn't been here because I was sure I would have remembered seeing these lamps. But if these lamps are quest lamps, then that might explain it. <laughs> but why I have no idea what they are. Okay, let me grab the seventh one. Okay, oh, we gotta talk to the guy. Where's the guy? Um, where is the guy? Huh, where'd he go? He was right here. I presumed that once you had acquired what you came for, you would forget about me and simply be on your way. Ah, it's that guy's voice. Hello, where are you? My physical form ceased to exist over a thousand years ago. What you witnessed earlier was an illusion created by the Adepti art known as Mortal Lingering. Now that you've taken the seven star lamps and sensor using the mortal lingering ritual, my form is no longer visible to you. 
You're a ghost? Ah, it's not untrue to say this. The line between Adepti and ghosts is a fine one indeed. I was once a junior in the Order of the Yorkshires, bestowed with the name of Vasas, Eric Lapis himself, yet my strength failed and I was slain in battle. Today is the anniversary of my death. My last wish was to see a modern leader, and so I took the liberty of performing this ritual here. That aside, you were sent here by the Conqueror of Demons, were you not? Do you two know each other then? I sense his aura upon you, that and the heavy burden of his karma. Ugh, even after all these millennia, he still must endure such tremendous suffering. I am truly ashamed. Don't say that, Pavasu. Pavasas, you sacrificed your life for Liyue, didn't you? Life is a precious thing, yes, but when I think of the burden that the Conqueror of Demons must bear, ugh, death seems to me to have been the easy way out, a selfish indulgence. Pavasas, huh, I apologise, birthdays are just joyful occasions, but by the same token, it is hard not to be melancholy on the anniversary of one's death. The mortal lingering will not last much longer. Take care, you two, and please pass on my regards to the Conqueror of Demons. You take care, too. Uh, if only I could taste some authentic grilled ticker fish once more. But wait, ticker fish? I thought it was tiger fish. Okay, uh, by wave and storm I hunt for fish, by wind and snow I slay evil. That ah, looks like he's gone then. Paimon really hopes that at least someone will remember the vases of the Yaksha. We should get going, but let's come back here and make an offering sometime. Well, that's sad. Okay. Can I. Oh, yes, I can read the verdicts. Perfect. Oh, well, that. That's quite. I wasn't expecting another adept type. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I hope he got to. I mean, he did get his wish, kind of. He wanted to see a modern leader, and he kind of saw a modern leader. I say kind of, because um, he's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so I don't know how much he saw. But, you know, better than nothing. Anyway, I'm supposed to be talking to Xiao. Oh, I guess it's night time now. <laughs> but I did want to grab this, which is why I came over here. I was trying to, um... I'm just gonna have to punch it. Okay, I was hoping to do a plunging attack, but I just failed miserably. So we're just gonna go for the quick, quick stabbing. Um, <laughs> to try and grab it for those two little... Are they lanterns? I don't know, but these, these things. Because I saw that I haven't activated them. And so I think I saw the second one of these. Right over here. Oh, there you go. See, a planning attack would have been so much quicker. But didn't want to work. Anyway, okay, so here's a chest. And what is this thing? This feels like it's gotta it's gotta have something in it, right? Unless I've already been here. I don't I don't know anymore. But there's nothing in it. So either it's just an empty, which is feasible, or I've cleared mm? But there's a chest there. Hmm. Hmm. And there's a Sealy over there. But clearly, I haven't been here. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna remind myself to come back here and claim that Sealy. <laughs> I am gonna get the chest now. Oh, there's another chest. The thing is, once I've seen a chest, I can't just not grab it. That would be... That would be silly. So we're just gonna grab this chest, and then the other one as well. Um, and hopefully Xiao isn't too upset with us for being late to his little meeting, because uh, I got a bit distracted. But that's... that's gonna be fine. We're just gonna... we're just gonna pick all of these. Okay, um... Uh, oh, I'm frozen. Let me unfreeze myself. And then, yeah, let's... let's do this. And then... oh! Was that guy always there? Eh, probably. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. And also this guy. And finally this guy. Okay, let me grab all of the stuff. And then... And then yeah. Okay, and then I think I saw another one in the Hillichel camp. Which is this way. You're supposed to be mining rocks for DP because lamps are shot. Oh, I don't think I already mined the rocks. I don't think I need any more rocks. Pervases. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. Oh, that would make sense. Okay, okay. Let me, let me just keep looking. A sleep up good. Oh, there's also another hydrate, but. Sadly, now is not the time for me to pick up my water glass. So we gotta wait to like deal with all of these, and then and then I'll pick up the water glass. 
Okay, this is... I've done this incorrectly. I wasn't paying enough attention, which means that my, like, battle strategy is way off. <laughs> Usually I'm better than this, but looks like today I went in here, like, I sort of entered... I don't know. I sort of... I don't know. It's like trying to count, but starting at the number five for some inexplicable reason. And then getting stumped because usually one starts at one or zero and yeah but no 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 it's it's all good now <laughs> i think i've sort of got it under control um hopefully this is relatively quick and simple i'll just leave them to do their thing while i pick up stuff and then we can do this and then and then yeah so it looks like we unlocked one of the chests okay Ooh. There are also some barrels, so we gotta we gotta smash the barrels. There was nothing in them. Well, that's rubbish. Anything in this one? Okay, what about this? No, what what is this? Okay, well that was a bit pointless. Okay, there's a couple more. Oh, barrels. Where are the? Oh, okay, wheat's in that one. Better than nothing. But I was hoping for potatoes. So honestly, very disappointed. I smashed like six barrels and no potatoes in any of them. This is very, very unusual. Usually there's at least one. But not this time, not this time. Okay, what about this one? Any potatoes? No, no potatoes. Okay, ooh, that's a fancy chest. Okay. I do, however, see there's a hill of shell down here. Yeah. Hello, what are you doing? Also, there's a rock that you can smash, so we're gonna... We're gonna do both of those things. We're gonna get the hill shell and we're gonna smash the rock to see if we can find anything. Okay, just a regular chest. Huh. I see. Fair enough. Anyway, we're gonna go to wherever Xiao wants us to go to. No. Oh, you know what? We're gonna jump off the jade chamber. That's how we're gonna get there. Um, okay, okay. Okay, wait, I didn't re didn't hydrate. <laughs> Oh, there was a Geoculus in there. Well, that means, because I, at one point, I went round and got all of the Oculuses, which means that clearly I went there and grabbed the Oculus, but apparently I didn't pay enough attention to grab all the chests. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, Lissy's going. Okay, bye, Lissy. Well, assuming you haven't already left. <laughs> I hope you have a good evening. And a good, a good next week, given it's currently Sunday. <laughs> Wait, there was a potato? Oh. I didn't see a potato. Huh. Okay, hello, Xiao. Have you gathered the items for the ritual? From the sensor and these lamps, their designs are flawless, almost as if they were made specifically for use in the Ette Arts. Where did you come by them? We got them from a Yaksha named Pavesi. Oh, and um, he says hi. Pervasive. Pervasive. Uh, yes, this does have the hallmarks of something Pervasive might do. As I thought, it seems that he could not leave Liu behind either. I hope that in its present state will allow him to rest in peace. Well then, let us begin preparing for the ritual. Place a sensor in the middle and surround it with the seven star lamps. Adorn the area with the items of object, object cult. Once this is done, we shall proceed. Uh, yes, this will do. Now the next step is the key to performing Dream Trawler. There are four steps to performing the ritual. Offering incense, meditation, incantation, and loosening an arrow. And seem ah, seems like a real rigmarole. Adepti arts are the product of a millennia of study by Adepti. Do not dismiss their mystic workings as rigmarole. Ready to take this seriously could cause the technique to devour one's own body or cause a spirit to be sundered from one's flesh permanently. Oh, stop talking, Paimon, sorry. When offering the incense, we place the incense into the sensor with reverence for Rex Lapis in our hearts. Meditation is to empty ourselves of trivial thoughts and to focus on the target of the art we are performing. Then we shall recite the incantation in a loud voice. Let the Yaksha bring forth sin. Finally, we will loose an arrow towards each of the Yaksha statues to enlist their authority for our contract. If all goes well, Satch's such, such soul will be brought forth shortly. Understood. If you have no other questions, let us begin. Oh, there was no ta- No potatoes! <sighs> Devastating. <laughs> Didn't we meditate? Ugh, Pamela really doesn't want to think about that fraud. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh? 
Oh. Uh, hmm. Vyashka. Dava Yaksha. Bring forth scent. Uh, bring forth scent. Looks like the Yaksha statues are glowing at the waist, so we just fire one arrow at each of the glowing parts, right? Okay. Okay. There's a Sealy up there? I swear. Okay. I guess there's a Sealy up there. We finished the ritual and we followed all the instructions to the letter. Close enough. Leave the rest to me, you two get ready to greet him. Where is one? Huh, you two look familiar. Uh, what's with one's body? One feels light, weightless. Uh, we summoned your spirit forth with an adept I art. An adept I art? Huh, you dare don the guise of adeptus in one's presence? And as for the matter of one's present location, one could have sworn that one was dozing off to sleep at Wangshu Inn not a moment ago. Wait, that must be it. Of course it must, huh? As expected of an adeptus such as oneself. One must indeed be in a dream. Uh, there's no helping this guy, is there? Uh, oh, you're not dreaming. Huh? What is the meaning of this? Do you truly think that one will permit such insolence in one's own dreams? Alright, time to take him down a peg. Are we just gonna fight him? Oh, we are! Okay, fine. Oh, that... <laughs> you can't see, but that did like three quarters of the damage. Just Yelan's singular move. <laughs> Basically knocked him out. Please stop, I surrender, I surrender. Ugh. Um... So, do you believe us now? Yes, yes, I do. I thought I was going to die. How did I ever have the misfortune to meet you two? Please, great adepti, spare my life. I won't do this ever again, I swear it. We did call your spirit here, but we're not adepti. He, however, is. You deceive the masses with quackery, masquerade as an adeptus, exercise demons without exterminating them, and display a callous lack of regard for life. One day you'll reap that which you have sown. For those who invite the infernal into their lives, there is no redemption. Ah, your... Seems like Xiao's got him scared stiff. Oh, great Adeptus, might I ask your name? He is the Conqueror of Demons. He really is you. It's truly you. Never in my life did I imagine I might meet the Conqueror of Demons, the Vigilant Yaksha himself. You know about Xiao? Of course. My grandfather was a folklorist. I learned the tales of the Conqueror of Demons at his knee. To this day, I am an avid collector of books concerning the Yakshas. But ever since I discovered a sigil of permission while rummaging through my grandfather's personal effects, at first I was just imitating the Adepti for fun, but slowly I began to stray further and further from the righteous path. Ah, so to sell you up, you're Xiao's biggest fan. Uh, yes, thank you both for allowing me to witness the Conqueror of Demons in the flesh. It's like a dream come true. Well, that wasn't the plan. <laughs> Please allow me to swear this oath before the great Conqueror of Demons. I swear to turn away from evil, to live an honest life, and to never again stain the name of the Adepti. I remember your oath, now go. Thank you a thousand thanks for your forgiveness and for all that you have done for Libya. He seems very earnest when he was making the oath there. Guess he won't be tricking anyone anymore. Oh wait, we haven't gotten such a permission back yet. Let's head over to Wangju Inn first thing tomorrow and look for him. Okay, okay, I see. However, I can't just ignore the Sealy, so we're gonna go get the Sealy. And something about chests being in one of the statues, I feel like I did that. But I don't remember, because I feel like if there was an Oculus nearby, I would have got it. And I feel like there was an Oculus nearby. But... Do I remember specifically how I did it? No. I'm pretty sure that's something to do with the bush. No, is it this bush? I don't know, I remember there being a bush and I got rid of a bush and suddenly there was a thing. But, maybe I didn't, or was it on that side? I don't know, I forget. Um, however. No, I am gonna kind of curious, so I am gonna... Is it this bush? No. Maybe it wasn't a bush. Maybe I just forgot. Which is also very likely. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try and climb up there. Because there is a Sealy up there. And I swear there wasn't a Sealy up there before. Because again, I would have grabbed it. But apparently there is now. So we're going to try and climb up there without falling off. Which is solid maybe. <laughs> because I'm not very good at climbing statues. Um, and we're going to try and get the Sealy. Ooh. Well, I found the hole, <laughs> but that was not the plan. I, I was right, it was under a bush. <laughs> okay, we're gonna wait here for a second while Yogi heals me up. <laughs> we're gonna 
try that again, hopefully without... Like, how, what were the odds I'd fall through the specific hole? Like, how does that even happen? <laughs> I don't... I'm honestly quite impressed with myself. <laughs> Literally, that, that doesn't... How? <laughs> Why am I so bad at climbing things? Like, so bad. <laughs> I swear that doesn't happen to anybody else. If it does, then... I commiserate with you, but if, but I feel like this is a very, very Keiko problem. Yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't even know how I manage this. I am truly unique. <laughs> anyway, okay, looks like the Sealy might have settled on this arch, so we're gonna try and climb up here, and hopefully, we can get up there. Oh yeah, okay, that should be fine. Um, okay, come on, Sealy, where are you going? Really? Oh, okay, I think that's it. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's nice. Let me grab my chest. I'm kind of curious about what's up here. I feel like I've been here. Because, it, well, there's a teleport waypoint up here. Oh, I remember this. Okay, yeah, we have been here. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> to, to Wang Shu in. Paimon doesn't like flying over sand, which I guess that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, but I like the two explanations you have given <laughs> between the lot of you. They are quite entertaining. Um, yep, fish, fish do die on sand, that is true. And sand is coarse and does get everywhere. Very annoying. We love sand, but like, it gets everywhere. You cannot go to the beach and not end up uncomfortably covered in sand. Wait, was it the left statue? Wait. Wait, what? How was it in the left statue? Then what did I find? Maybe I already got it then. <laughs> and that is true. There is a chance that the ceiling wasn't collected because I couldn't reach it. Or maybe I reached it, it flew away and I couldn't find it again. And that's how it didn't get like saved. <laughs> Uh, hey there, boss. Star Snatcher's staying here, right? Star Snatcher, hm, you mean the false adeptus who wore a mask? He signed in here under the name Wang Ping An. That's... that's a normal name. He's already checked out and he said he wished to go on a solo pilgrimage. Uh, yes, he also requested I give this letter to a traveller who journeys together with a talking fairy, should they come asking for him. Talking fairy? Who's that? Well, anyway, you must be the traveller. Here's the letter. How strange you would leave a letter for us. Is this the final attempt to fool us, maybe? Come on, open it, Paimon's curious. By the time you read this letter, I will have embarked upon my journey of self-improvement. I regret I cannot apologise to the two of you in person, but I hope that you will forgive me. Since a conqueror of demons that appeared to me in a dream, I have not slept. My nights have been spent thinking about how I may fulfil my vow. Not only have I deceived you two, but I have also exploited the hopes and dreams of my believers. People in dire straits often become weak, thirsting blindly after something to believe in. With my lies, I brought them false salvation, while their true desires grew further and further away. I know that in long gone era, Desires of mankind were not as complicated as they have now become. The conqueror of demons shouldered the desires of Liyue's people as he contended with demons. Wearing his mask, he concealed the weakness brought by human desire. As a false adeptus, I am one who also wear always wears a mask. A true adeptus only needs to wear it when facing demons. If I wear a mask to hide the evil that has corrupted my heart, then the conqueror of demons wears a mask to hide the part of himself, him that is human. And yet, he wears the face of a demon king only that he might subdue all demons. Once I realised all of this, I became deeply aware of my own ugliness and I understood what it truly means to be an Adeptus. I set off on this journey over hill and river, strengthening my body and spirit, not because I harbour any hope of fully atoning for my sins, I do it only to earn the right to be counted among the believers of the Adepti. I already asked someone to return the money I cheated others of. A few goods remain in my possession, but they are of no use to me on my journey of self-improvement. Please take them, please take the title of permission that my grandfather left me as well. I am no longer worthy of it. I wish you will be granted that which you desire and may we meet again. Wang Ping An, a sinner. Ah, seems like he actually left us a few nice trinkets. Along with, woohoo, the sigil of permission. Paimon hasn't met a bad guy like him in a long time. 
I'm actually quite touched. Yeah. Anyway, let's go take this little permission to Xiao, shall we? Okay. Where where is Xiao? I'm pretty sure. Oh no, he's he's downstairs. Oh, he's in the kitchen. Hello. Ah, there you are. We got the sigil of permission back. Do you want to take it? Uh, you have my thanks. May I take your order, sir? One grilled ticker fish. <gasps> oh, certainly we'll prepare it for you immediately. Huh? No almond tofu this time. Well, that's not like Xiao. Ticker fish was Pervase's favorite dish. I just wanted to see how it tastes. Ah. By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. Was there anything else? I am accustomed to eating alone. We'll, we'll leave you be. Ah, and so Detective Pymon and the trusty traveller solved the case and quietly slipped away. Okay. Oh, uh, Sia seems a bit lost in his memories. Best we don't disturb him. I will leave him be. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again and have a great day!